Fulman and IIH, uh, the way that we think about that is essentially a rapid progressive form of IIH. The classic definition is, is, is progressive and severe visual loss over a period of about a month or shorter. But in general, what that means is um, severe symptoms, usually with visual impairment that rapidly progressively occurs. It doesn't mean that they have to be diagnosed and it occurs within a month of diagnosis. Uh, many of these patients have headaches for a while, but something tips them over the edge and then they have uh, either painful or painless vision loss that deteriorates relatively rapidly. And the, this patient population is, um, is unique to the standard IH patients that we take care of uh, for a number of reasons. And there's a number of practical points that we have to deal with when addressing them as the treating physician, uh, which is is slightly different than the usual slowly progressive chronic headache, chronic papilledema patient. Um, uh, but most importantly is the fact that they are losing their vision rapidly and they could go blind. And what that means is you're talking about evaluating them rapidly, getting them in and taking care of in a, in a rapid manner. And so um, uh, I... There, there's not much published on this. I published a series of 10 patients that we treated with venous sinus stenting for fulminant IH about a year ago um, in uh, the Neuroradiology Journal. But um, essentially, uh, this patient population historically was pretty much universally treated with shunting. And um, I think now we have enough enough data and, and enough experience with venous sinus stenting that many of these patients probably are better candidates for venous sinus stenting if done intelligently uh, i think it's a really great treatment option 